female trans people be Catholic, most of them. Yeah, they and really. It's like it's a lot of countries in Africa that were what's the word colonized by. Yeah, oh, for sure, they came yeah. over there and and took us over. Uh, yeah. Do you go back often? No, I haven't been back yet. Um, but I'm trying to go back in February. Uh, okay. So yep, we up. Episode thirty two. He know where my mama stay. He know where your mama stay. You said you had a gun. Well, you seen them? How many people in the hood play like that? You know what movie that come from? Play like what? Play like that. Like that line I just said. He know where my mama. Oh. Never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. That's well, Friday. That oh, Friday. I mean, I watch the movie Friday, but I remember the line. Uh, we're gonna have to get her on Friday. Uh. As y'all can see, I got the beautiful, educated uh, model. Uh, what else would you give yourself as far as? Poet. Poet. Yeah. So she's an artist, too. Say that. Uh, as y'all can see, I got silver in the building. Uh, silver. <laughs> but her hair is gold, though. That's kind of. Listen, that's not even the color I want it to be right now, but. When you bleach and dye your hair, it mm -hmm. never turns out. You can move the mic up. What you want bit. it to be? Oh, for real. Yeah. How, many, how long you been bleaching and dyeing it? I cut my hair. All right, for the first time, I cut my hair like 2019. Uh huh. And when I first cut it, like I went to the barber shop and I asked him to give me a shape up, like mm. a shape up, shape up. Cause I used to think like girls who just left it round, it didn't look nice. But I think the girls I was just looking at just wasn't pulling off the shortcut right. Yeah. So I got to shape up and I literally looked like a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, they took that word out of the vocab. I don't think we can say that no okay. more. I said it. I, I, I like, looked very masculine. Like a butch. I looked masculine. Okay. So I was like, uh-uh. So I grew my hair back out and then I cut it again in like 2020. And it's just been short like this ever since then. So it's safe to say you're not a lesbian, no? You like girls? I like women sexually, not emotionally. Mm. So you like men emotionally and, and sexually. sexually. But so with women, just sexually because... Is that bisexual or... I mean, I guess you could call that bisexual. I don't really feel the need to put a label on it. Okay. I feel like I'm just a girl who likes to have fun. So if y'all see Silver out and she getting at you, just know <laughs> and you're a female... She only want to fuck. <laughs> it is nuts. Listen, she don't want to get involved. Emo and listen, I don't blame her. I love women, but it's a lot. It's, well, it's a fucking are, lot to deal with. And I'm a tough person. I cannot deal with emotions. So I've tried being more than just, you know, with a girl. And it just didn't work out for me. Like, we can't both be. But the only thing when, the, when you have good sex with them, the emotion automatically comes. Comes. Yeah. So how do you how do you cipher through that? I haven't been with a girl in a minute, so what's a minute? <laughs> maybe a couple months. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe like almost. Oh, let like me hold on, hold on, my bad. <laughs> let me we we usually start with a shot. She doesn't drink, so I got to tell my audience she doesn't drink. I wish I would have known. I would have got her like some weed. She could have rolled up because this henny and fried crabs. We do whatever. I don't smoke. I mean, I smoked on camera with like some weed people. They got their own bag, and I was I took one puff and I was high as shit. Like the <laughs> interview, yeah, time. the interview started going like just on some high shit. So I was like, I gotta end this. But all right, we start with a shot. Salud. I'm gonna drink my juice. She drink her juice. So Take all of it. Oh yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't play no games. <laughs> Y'all see, we powered by Delion. Delion is what we're powered by. We'll get to the sponsors later. So, no, no, no. A few minutes, a couple months. I a couple think. months. Maybe, okay. A couple months, close to a year. Okay. Yeah. So, when's the last time you've been with a dude? Recently. Week, two weeks? A day? Like two, three weeks ago. Okay. How was it? Um, it was cool. It's somebody I like, but... Um, Things are just really, really chill right now. She's super unemotional, <laughs> y'all. I can feel. When's your birthday? I'm getting I'm, no, no, this. No, no, no. Listen, and don't get me wrong. I don't hate the player. I hate the game. You sound like, oof. You just like to keep your options open. 
No, that's not it. I just, okay. I just, I'm a realistic person. Like, if I knew that it was something more serious, I would say that. But it's not right now, so. Okay. All right. Well, let's <laughs> let's kind of rewind. We're gonna get back to this. Uh, all right. So let's start. Where are you from? I'm born in Cameroon, raised in Largo, Maryland. Okay. African descent, raised in Largo, Maryland. You know, a lot of people in in DC hate that like. Maryland people, I don't, I don't, I'm from Southern Virginia. We don't say DMV. So when the people say this year, Maryland, That's because the V don't Virginia, count, so y'all don't count. Uh, listen, we don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm telling you, I'm from the 757. We don't want to ever be put in the DMV. Like, it's, I'm just being totally honest. Okay. We don't like if people saying DMV. So, all right, Largo is hoods. Uh, is it like you grew up Silver Spoon in the, money? I mean, not Silver Spoon, but I grew up pretty like middle class okay mama and dad in the same house no um i live with my uncle and my aunt okay my mom lives in cameroon oh wow for real where mm -hmm. your dad at he passed away last year oh sorry to hear about that it's okay but when he was alive he was living in cameroon too okay for real mm -hmm. oh wow so you came over here just get you just like we want to just send our daughter over there for i used to get sick a lot so i okay. came here for like treatment and stuff and then i just ended up staying okay that's good yeah. uh College, you in college? UMES. What's that? P U University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a, a I kid started I used to there. coach there. Then I went to PGCC, okay. and then I just graduated from Fortis College. Come on, give her a hand clap. <laughs> give her a Thank hand you. clap. Graduated. How was it? I mean, so graduation. What was your uh, major? Um, I'm now a medical assistant and phlebotomist. Okay. I work at MedStar. So I don't know what phlebotomy is, but what's that? Basically, people who draw blood. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. get that shit. Because I, <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't be knowing what people... And I wouldn't mind giving my blood if it was going to save a life or something. But if I don't know what y'all doing with my shit, I... Cause but that's not the only time we draw blood. We also draw blood for, like, whenever you need to do lab test things yeah, and stuff right. like that. So. And I've had, yeah, blood tests for, like, mm -hmm. STDs and stuff like that, which I've never been burnt in my whole entire life. People, that's I've good. But I don't like wearing condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being totally... Silver, I mean, being for the totally most part, honest. a lot of people don't, especially since the woman's, like... Vagina is so sensitive. Yeah. That shit hurts. It give you fucking yeast infections. It do. So it was just like, but you got to pick your... <laughs> For sure. You got to pick them battles because there's some nasty <laughs> bitches out here. <laughs> Listen, I work in urgent care, so please Oof. wrap it up because it's a lot of people out here who will know they have something and they will not care. Some people don't be knowing, though, because they just, just don't I've, pay I've had somebody much. come in and he was like, it was his first time getting tested. Mm -hmm. He was 24 Oof. in his entire life. First time. Oof. I was just like, yeah. Y'all got to ask him how many people he's been with? Well, um, I'm not a doctor. So, so you don't ask I don't have to ask that. Mm -hmm. But um, normally, like, when you, the doctor comes and sees you and talks to you, they'll ask you, like, are you sexually active? Mm -hmm. And, you know, if the last time you had sex, it was a protected type shit. They ask him all those personal okay. questions. I mean, like, mm -hmm. of course, if I'm, like, it's called triaging when I'm, like, basically writing everything that's going on with you. Mm -hmm. If I'm having a conversation with you and everything, I can, if I'm like, feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable, we'll you talk. You can kind of talk about yeah, it. Yeah, okay. but for the most part, I don't nah. try to get into people's business like that. Yeah, yeah, they're probably going to be like, <laughs> who the fuck is you? Girl, if you don't care your ass. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a talkative person. I'm not a sociable person. I used to be more sociable, but now I go places and be looking at people like, get the fuck away from me. Because it's just a lot of corny shit going on. Uh, So, I'll mess on that. So, all right, so, Modeling, how how long have you been doing that? I've been modeling since 2017, 2018, so like okay. a good five years. Is that a rough industry to get in, especially in this area? Is it? Is it a so, yes, for a lot of factors. Number one, I'm short. Mm. Um, so there's that. <laughs> she got like three inch kind of claws on. <laughs> I got some boots on, but yeah. like I'm 5'2". Oh, wow. And then um, another thing is I don't have that society's norm of like what a model's supposed to look like i'm a little bit on like on the curvier side like mm -hmm. heavy set so you're not heavy set ain't shit about you heavy i mean you like, got the chest but that's you're what not by heavy set that's what i mean as like, y'all can see i'm a little bit thick show, show, the, show the camera <laughs> move the mic off the side so all right i'm gonna tell y'all what i asked her before she came but show the, show the side you know every girl that i come 
Listen, I don't, you probably haven't seen it. I had two girls that had like BBLs. I tell them to stand up, so the but the other girl, she was fat versa. So I, <laughs> I kind of sexualized my my female guests, but that's the listen. The guys love me for that. They be like, "Yo, E, I love your podcast because y'all be talking shit and we be here." But I mean, you got pretty women up there. I candy. Listen. Not, and I'm not saying that some of y'all women that ask to get up here is ugly, but <laughs> I like my guys to be able to uh, look at something. So, uh, so would you put yourself in kind of like a, I don't want to say vixen, because I guess that's more like a, because they don't even shoot videos and shit no more. But that's kind of like when short models started to say, all right, we can't do runway. Let's just be so, a video vixen yeah, kind of actress. I actually love doing like music videos and stuff like that. I wish I did more of it, oh, honestly. Wow, yeah. Um, Cause you know I like to dance. Like you get to dance and mall at the same time, or mm-hmm. just like be pretty on camera. Like I just love a camera. So for the most part, if there's a camera involved, I'm there. <laughs> you so see, she there. I'm I'm there. So I, I wouldn't mind doing Vixen. Um, I've done a couple music videos, um, but I, I really enjoy shooting for the most part because I okay. like to create art. Like anytime I'm shooting, I'm normally like creating. I'm like the creative director for most of my shoes. Oh, wow. So you don't really let a photographer say, hey, I want to do this. You already kind of have your idea. No, of what I, you... I do, but not that many photographers reach out to me. Hmm. So, um, Why is that? You got, I mean, you got some dope pictures on your page. I think it's just we're in a time where, like, creatives are just kind of, I, I would say, the re- I don't reach out that much either. And okay. my reason is just, I just be scared. I'm scared that, like. A lot of photographers be creeps. I no, I'm not scared. I'm not it, scared yeah, that they're yeah. creeps. I'm just scared that they're not gonna want to work with me or like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you don't give off. You fucking ain't confident. I just feel like no, I'm I'm definitely confident, but like as a creative, it's mm. it's different. It's a For different real. type of confidence you gotta have, like because it's like you never know if people are gonna like your work or not, no matter how good you look. Because hmm. yeah. it's a lot of people who do shoots. They're beautiful people, but they're doing like very corny concepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person that reaches out to a photographer and you're like, do you like this? And they're like, mm, girl, what you thinking? <laughs> I mean, but at least, at least I, I, they got to keep it 100 with you. Like, no, nah, I'm not shooting that shit. Yeah. How was, how was that? Do you do you pay photographers or kind of you say, hey, listen, I'll help your portfolio or how does that work actually? Um, most of the photographers I work with, I've already built a relationship with them. Okay. So like if they have a concept, they come to me. If I have a concept, they, um, I go to them and if it's good enough, then they're probably comfortable with collabing and I won't have to pay. But I have worked with, I think one or two photographers why I had to pay. And then like, I just kind of stopped doing that because like, I'm not that I'm not up there yet. So it's like, I can't invest in myself to that point yet. Okay. So it's like. I need to work with somebody who also needs like a beneficial kind of moment, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm kind of ADHD, so I fucking jump around. It's okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm ADHD. For real. Too. Yeah. We got we got something in common. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm looking at your shortcut, and I gotta be honest. Every girl can't pull that shit off. I'm just being. Some bitches' head be too big. They but I got a having, big head, though. I got like no. a little, Oh, you do got like got a football like a, in the back. A nugget. <laughs> so you know what this dude told me yesterday? He said I got a head like Junior from my wife and kids. No, hell no. But see, I'm going to tell you, I didn't see the side view really. <laughs> so from the front, you don't look like you got a big ass head. You got kind of like a, what made you, because you can pull it off. Now, you, I seen you had the uh, finger waves on, on Instagram, but mm-hmm. you got kind of just like to lay down. It's funny, though. I always said, man, if I had a girl with short, both of us be goddamn putting the do-rag on late night, goddamn. You definitely go to sleep with the do-rag what on. What made you uh, cut it <laughs> cut it that low? Um, it's always been this low. I just recently was trying to grow it out. That's mm. why I had the finger waves. Whenever okay. I'm growing it out, I got to do something to it. I had the finger waves because I was like, all right, let me try to grow my hair back out. I had it grown out from like July to October, September mm-hmm. kind of. And I was like, nah, I think that like phase of me having hair on my head is okay. just gone. It's fucking a lot. I swear I want to cut it's my hair lot. off. Yeah, listen, uh, but it's I wanted a lot to grow to it out to with. lock it. Okay, once it get long, <laughs> I listen. I, I done had my hair seven years, and when it's out the braids, it's like down to here. I'm ready to cut it. It's just like you set an appointment. It's fucking one o'clock. She don't get you to two o'clock. Why don't o'clock. you learn how to re- twist it yourself? 
My damn arm, I got, because I got a bunch of them. Like, mine's is thin, so mm-hmm. I got a bunch of them. It'll take forever. My damn arm will hurt. But I'm about to cut them. I'm kind of just tired what? of them. Because oh, it's just a lot of maintenance. 20, 2023 by my birthday, 2023 in May. Back with the low cut. You're not going to cut wig. it. All right, yeah. watch. I try, I'm <laughs> telling you, watch, I'm going to cut it. Uh, have anybody ever palm your head like, like this? All the time. For real? Yes. Even sexual, they just palm your head? Like, yes. You don't be like, go ahead with that shit, man. I mean, I like, I don't, I mean, probably because you haven't had no hair on your head for a long time, but like when you have a low cut and it's <laughs> nice, just having somebody rub your head, it feels so good. No, I like this, the scalp scratch and all of that, but like when I'm having sex, I don't mind the pull of the hair, but I couldn't imagine nobody like having my hair. I'd be like, But Yo. like, I got a good grip, so it's like. <laughs> 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 that is too funny. Uh, so uh, as we talking, you told me initially you've never been in a relationship. That is true. That is it, it's wild to hear. She's twenty. You mom saying twenty three? Okay, she's twenty three. Never been and and we talking. We in twenty twenty two. Just never to be in a relationship is weird. And I'm weird. Trying to, yeah. Okay, I, but you know, every every time I say that, people be like, what? But y'all have been in relationships, you're single too, so it's like, am I missing out on anything for real? Nah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say that because, I mean, the Bible and the Quran and stuff don't speak on relationships, speak on marriage mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So have you ever even been in love? No. Woo. <laughs> That's scary, though. No. No? Mm-mm. Has it ever I've even got close? I told a man I love you. No, have, have they ever told you they love you? Not to my knowledge. I don't think so. I don't remember. So what's the longest you kind of drag somebody on? I've been in a situation ship for like almost three years. Oof. That sounded like you was a side chick. Oh. No, <laughs> oh, your Carisha shit. I'm, no, I'm not. I mean, three years? Yeah. I mean, was he in a relationship? Give or take. It was complicated. I'm going to just say that. This is what we here for. <laughs> I mean, we got time. It was complicated. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not going to speak on that. <laughs> what, so you that. didn't love him after three years? No. It wow. was just lust. Oh, so it was good sex. The sex was really good. That's it. So how how did you walk away from it then? Um, It got really, 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 really toxic. Um, like yeah. really toxic, and That's then I was just like I just physical shit. Not know. even that. No, it wasn't physical. Oh, okay, but um, I just had to like stand up <laughs> and say, "I right, just it, like yeah. I'm I'm not benefiting from here. He wasn't doing nothing for me." So what, what like, now? Now that's the only thing though. You're saying, "All right, the sex was great. That's why you was there for three years." Gotta turn my hat to the back. The sex was great. That's why you was there for three years. It was a situation ship. So, you know, when women say that, they know, I, right, I, I can see us having a good time and shit with it. But I don't see a relationship. So, why did you need benefits if it was just sex anyway? It I was, thought that's, I mean, ain't that the only benefit Okay, you no, want? it was complicated. When it first started out. I don't know if she told me she didn't want to talk about it, but. <laughs> like, I mean, like in detail, detail. Yeah, yeah, we don't got to go in detail. When it first started out, like the first year, it was supposed to be like something serious. Kind okay. of, you okay. know, uh-huh. but then he never took me out or nothing like that. And I was just kind of, I was still kind of young. I was like probably 19, 18, 19, 18 yeah, really go when it first started off. You know what I'm chill, yeah. So um, I was still living with my folks at home. So it's like, and they were very strict. Okay. So it just, it just wasn't, I didn't require much, but I did want more than what I was getting, but I was just settling. Cause I was naive. I just feel like. I used to be, I've grown a lot this year. Okay. So I can say that the reason why I probably stayed in it for that long is just daddy issues and shit like that. Like, I used to just settle a lot. I'm glad somebody's admitting that dysfunction in women, and I'm not even going to say dysfunction in women, but dysfunction in men and women when it comes to relationships, whether you're settling, whether you're putting up with it, whether you're the one that's a fucked up individual, it comes from your upbringing. It does. The relationship you have with your parents molds the relationship you have with other people in your life. I'm going to tell you, I, <laughs> I used to, and for a long time, you know, my girlfriend, she's she's good, but for a long time, if a girl told me her daddy won't around or uh, daddy, it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> hell no, nah, because it's going to be some wild shit going on. It's going to be just, 
there's nothing I'm going to be able to do nothing. with a female that has daddy issues that's going to ever please her. It's never going to be enough. It's always going to need more. And I don't want to be your daddy, but I'm going to have to try to be your daddy. It's like, ah. That's why you got to have self-awareness and you have to heal before you start dating because sure. I wasn't having self awareness and I wasn't a, I was in a time where like I wasn't healed from my daddy issues and shit mm-hmm. like that. So I was dating men who were like him. Oh wow. And I when I realized that that's why my dating life was so traumatic, yeah. I was like, oh no, I gotta do better. Okay. So sometimes you can have daddy issues, but as long as you got self awareness and you're like you know fuck that then um, you be all right you can y'all still cool to this day no oh wow so, you <laughs> so if you you walk past them as you speaking i wouldn't would he i don't know oh shit. <laughs> i that, might say like that hi. means she won't give them that good good because if she was giving them that good good oh. i don't give a fuck what you did to me how toxic we was hey look i'm gonna I'm what's up especially if i ain't with nobody if i ain't with my mm. girl i'm gonna definitely speak Man, I might say hi, but that's about it. That's about it. You don't want no conversation at all. No, we don't okay. need to talk. So, uh, when did you start dealing with women? Hmm. Mm, maybe like two years ago. Oh, so you fresh with the women? I'm not. I'm not like. I don't like be going out and trying to date women. You I just, just fell in. Just fell I in. just feel like if you look good. And I look good, and we flirting or something like that. We might. So how was the first? That's why I say, how did the first time ever happen then? Um, my first time was actually in college, my okay. freshman year. That was like 20, 2018. Okay. And it was just like a little fling. We were drunk. Um, wasn't really much to it. I don't remember much. I was I was drunk. <laughs> did, was was so. she already in the girls or? Or both of y'all was kind of like, I don't know. I, don't I, I think we time. both just found each other really attractive. Like, I feel like I'll, every woman has a little bit of gayness in her. For sure. So. Most, a lot of niggas got gay. Most niggas got gay in them. <laughs> so I just feel like. I, not me. I'm, I, I and, mean. And it's not that I won't look at a nigga and be like, ah, oh, that's the nigga my girl may like. Or that's the nigga my sister may like. But I ain't going to be like, oh, man, that nigga's fine as hell. I mean, but even if you do, it's okay. I ain't no hater. No, 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 I'm not going to say that because I think I'm the best. And I know I'm not the best looking nigga, but if I'm in the room, <laughs> nigga, I all eat crack. Cause, and, and that's that's what I'm going to think. If I think a nigga do look better, I'm going to find a reason. To say he either ain't got more money than me. The nigga, dick ain't bigger than mine. He can't dress better. <laughs> I'm going to find something. That's, nigga ain't more athletic than me. That's toxic masculinity is right it? there. Yes, it is. I want to be the alpha in the room. Is that is I mean, nothing wrong with not, that? There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, like, that's... Because it's a hater. It's not a hater. It's it is just, just being a hater. I'm a hater sometimes. Just, I, I feel like that's just being with a man. You guys always want to be testosterone. At the top. It's testosterone. That's what it is. It's everything is like a. I got to be up there. You know what I'm saying? I hate like, a little bit though. I mean, I, I hate it, a little bit. You, you know, everybody got a little hate in them, and it's okay. Of course, I, I hate sometimes too, but <laughs> within reason. <laughs> what you be hating on? Within reason. I mean, let me not say hate, but like if I see something and I'm like. What you got know. on? Like that bitch look yeah. corny. I have a head. bad habit of like, if I see some like an ugly outfit, I'm gonna talk shit. Oh, for real. <laughs> Most <laughs> people from Maryland though, kind of Bama though, ain't whatever y'all say, Bama. We do not say the word Bama. Who say that? DC, don't they? Mm, I haven't heard that word since like middle school. For real. Yeah. We say that in, in North. We be like, I'm not fucking about Bama. Country. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me. Yeah, that's a country ass word. It is, but that mean motherfucker look no fashion whatsoever. They still out here wearing lugs and goddamn fubu and shit. But uh, so yeah, yeah, getting back to the, the the so after the first time you was with a female, you was like, oh, this shit, alright. Mm-hmm. And then it just continued. Um, I've actually only been with two girls. Okay. So, do you ever tell the guy that you deal with that you like girls? Cause cause you know what's coming after that. Threesome. I mean, I've in my last threesome. episode, we talked about that. I've never had one. I never want one with my girlfriend. If happen, we break up and I meet somebody on a vacation or something. I'm all with it. I don't, I don't have it in me to be in love with somebody to see somebody pleasing somebody I'm with, whether girl or a guy. And like I was telling the dude, so most guys want threesomes because they want two women. 
I might as well just ask my girlfriend, can I cheat? Because I really just want two women. Because if it's the threesome and it's about pleasing each other, <clears throat> what if my girl come to me and say, I want two niggas? Yep. And a lot of women don't admit it, won't admit it, but they like that shit and want that shit. Hell yeah. But they know that they do not going to. Niggas going to judge you. Niggas <laughs> going to judge you. No, well, I don't, I, I, hey, Silver, it's some, listen, I met some cut cold niggas out here that like to see their girl get fucked. I mean, I've been approached before. Ain't nothing wrong girl, with like, that. Want to fuck. No, I don't want to fuck her. Is what, nigga? I just don't like. I wouldn't fuck with nobody in the room, like another dude in the room with me. Like that's which, which makes sense. You have to, you have to be a little bit fluid. Okay. To have yeah, a threesome. So you've had one. I've yeah, I've had a threesome. One, two. Three. I've had two. How was it? I wouldn't do it again. For real. I heard they the bomb though, but. I mean, it was all right. I wasn't missing out on anything, to be honest. So why did you do it the second time then? <laughs> um, the first time, it happened spontaneously. Second time, it happened spontaneously. So You can't just, you got to give us the story. <laughs> we like details. The first time, the was first you time, out with the dude? The first time, it was somebody that I was um, like heavily... Let me, let, me, let me not say heavily. Consistently messing with. Yeah, I was about to say now. You said you ain't been in no relationship. <laughs> nah, consistently messing with. And I went over. This actually during the pandemic. When the pandemic mm-hmm. first dropped. I went over there to just, you know, smoke with him and mm-hmm. shit. And then he had his friend come over. It was a girl. Okay. She was, I think she was a plug at the time. Or she just had a lot of gas. And he was copping off of her. Okay, okay. So she came over. And then we smoked together. Was and- she bad? Yeah, she was pretty. God damn, a badass. Girl. <laughs> How many goddamn girls? She was pretty, and okay. then I'm not. And I think we started drinking wine okay. together, and then it just started like I, he. I, I think we started kissing, and mm-hmm. then she just kind of joined in, mm-hmm. and then it just turned into a whole. And you ain't stop her. No. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. I, I had always wanted to try one, so that was my first time. And then the second time, it was with um, a friend who was a girl. She's a close friend of mine. And we were, like, messing with each other at the time. And it was her birthday. And it just kind of happened. And it was the random nigga around? And no, it wasn't. It was, like, one of her friends. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if they were, like, messing with each other okay. or not. But it was. I just know it was her friend. And um, we, w- we had a hotel for her birthday. And they were in the room, and then she was like, come in the room with us. And then, yeah, it just happened. So she kind of knew you was going to be. Down for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a break real quick because I got to restart my camera. Then we're going to come right back. going to be real quick. All right, we back. We back. All right, so I'm going to go into the sponsor of Henny and Fry Crafts podcast. Episode 32 is Local Office D.C., the only black, the only black owned Geico office in D.C. If you need car insurance, boat insurance, motorcycle insurance, home insurance, or renter's insurance, now, now, we are insuring, ins- insuring jewelry. So all you niggas out there copping all the bling and, and listen, bitches love it. Come get it insured in case one of them niggas catch your ass coming out the club and take it. <laughs> Guess what? File a police report, get your money back, bruh. Come, come insure your uh, jewelry at Geico. Matter of fact, you can call 202-920-8600 or just hit the link that's going to be at the bottom of the screen. And if you are looking at us on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. God damn, it's taking me forever to get to 500, but I I be getting a bunch of views. If 2,000 people look at my shit, 2,000 people should be hitting the goddamn subscribe. <laughs> I think most people, when they watch videos on YouTube, they just be watching it. Being a rat hole and just and, keep going. And they don't su- su- subscribe. So if nobody say it. subscribe, they don't subscribe? Do you? I don't really go on YouTube that much. So uh. whenever I get on it, it's just to watch something specific. Uh. Subscribe to the shit. <laughs> subscribe to my shit. Hit a like button. Hit a comment. Listen, in this video, whatever video y'all looking at, tell me how good Silver look. <laughs> if y'all can guess her cup size, I'll send you. I don't even know my own cup size. But, but I want to say, if they can guess your cup size, and I mean perfect, from the width in the back and cup size, I'll send y'all uh, a bottle of Henny. 
through Cash App. A bottle of honey, okay. I mean, whatever it's cost. What yeah. honey cost? Because honey a product. What, forty dollars? Forty dollars. <laughs> I send you forty dollars. Forty dollars. And we'll we'll get a closer view later, so y'all can kind of get it. Cause from far, you never know a little bit small. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a shot, cause my girl just graduated. You know. Yes, sir. Salute to shot her. clock. Get that money. I do miss drinking though. Mm. I miss being drunk sometimes. It just was a horrible aftermath. That's why I say, so how do you develop, like, allergic to... I don't even know. Like, I feel like when I was in college, Mm -hmm. I used to drink. Then I came back home, Mm -hmm. and I don't know what started happening, but, like, it was worse with cheap liquor, too. Oh, well, you got to stop drinking that cheap shit. No, but even with the, like, like more Mm high-end liquor, the next day I'd be throwing up for, like, six hours straight. Hell no. Yeah. Every time I drank. The last time I drank was in July. I had... I think I had like four shots of Casamigos. My mm-hmm. girlfriend says that I had a lot of drinks, but oh shit, that'll make you throw up. I don't though. think I did. I had four shots of Casamigos and maybe like one mixed drink. Okay. The next day I was throwing up for like ten hours straight. Mm. And I started throwing up blood, and then I passed out. Ooh-wee. I had to go to the ER and shit, and I had to get pumped. And just, that's when they told you you was allergic. Alcohol to intolerant liquor. is the proper term. Dang. You know how some people are like lactose intolerant. Yeah. That's me, but I still love cheese. I still fucking eat it. I yeah, no, I can't. I'd rather. That day was so traumatic. I haven't touched a drink since then. No, no, no. You could really die from like throwing up and diarrhea. You could literally die from diarrhea and throwing up so much. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would fucking <laughs> stay away. It literally from that. felt like I was like about to die. Like that shit was wow. so scary. I was like, God, if you get me out of this, I would never touch a drink again. And this time I meant it. You know, whenever you're having a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm coughing because I've said that shit so many times. Exactly. Like, no, I ain't fucking drinking no more, man. Because I've been drunk sometimes. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know how I got home. Yep. I wake up and look at the text messages I sent out. Like, why the fuck was I texting her and the shit I was texting? I'm like, God, you know what? Nah, I can't do Listen, I'm not drinking no more. And hangovers are the worst feelings, which I don't get them no more because I know how to deal with them. Like, if I go out and I drink a lot, which I ain't. Last time I drank a lot, we was in Miami uh, with my homeboys. But I know how to just do two Gatorades, take a BC, I wake up good. Now, I still feel like shit for like three days. I used to be able to go out, get, but now I'm older. I drink hard one day. I'm fucking done for four days. So, yeah, I get it, but I don't know. Smoking, I'm more, I couldn't smoke and go to a party. I'd just be standing in the corner. Every time I didn't smoke any of the time, I'd be in the corner just standing there just like <laughs> paranoid. I was about to like, say you're one of those people that get paranoid. Yes. Dang. So I... Nah, I love being high. It feels like I'm on cloud nine. For real? <laughs> yeah. What, what type of weed do you smoke? Cause it's, it's, all kinds. I can do all strains. They all hit the same for me. You like, mm. you know, some people like with indica and sativa, sometimes they either get sleepy or they get like really up. Yeah, I don't even I'm know what up. either one of those are. <laughs> I'm up no matter what kind of strain for I got. For real? Mm-hmm. Okay. You should sell weed. No, I'm not about that life. Why? It's legal now. Yeah, but I just feel like once you start selling drugs and shit like that, it comes with a certain kind of lifestyle you got to keep up with. And yeah, you're right. I'm not about that life. So, <laughs> all right, being a model, uh, what's like the, oh my God, my legs ashy as shit. Oh, okay, no. I'm not showing that white camera. Christmas. Hell yeah, it's like I got them. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, I got stockings on. Damn. <laughs> it is wintertime. I don't know too many black people. Well, if I if I know I'm about to fuck or something, I, I put lotion on because I don't want to have ashy legs if I knew somebody was coming over. But most black people don't put lotion on in the wintertime. Uh, what's like your most, and I'm going to ask you, your bottom and your top, your most horror, like, photo shoot? Like, what was the worst photo shoot? Like, either the photographer was trying to fuck the whole time. Like, you couldn't get a... What's the worst fucking photo shoot you I've ever had? I've actually never been in one of those situations oh, before. Wow. So what's the best then? What um, was the best one that's on your Instagram? My best shoot? Yeah, because I've ever had. Damn. That's such a hard question. You got some good ones. I, I would say I have, like, two favorite photographers that I would like to work Shout with. Shout out. Um, my friend, Anthony. Um. Mm-hmm. And my um, other friend, Phil, Philip, okay. Phil, I'm going to just say Phil. Phil. But yeah, those are my two favorite. Um, I know Ant's Instagram name is like um, Eye of Ant, 
something like that. And then Phil's Instagram name is more in focus. But yeah, those are my two favorite photographers. So most okay. of my favorite works come from the both of them. Who you think get the most bitches? Photographers, party promoters, DJs, and let's say you fucking coaches. Coaches? Like the youth, they coach like rec league football and the rec league basketball with all the mamas and shit. Cause this ain't nothing but a bunch of single goddamn <laughs> single mama kids playing fucking rec league football. That, I did that, not. That's my first time hearing about that. It's not a lot of daddies at them fields. <laughs> I, listen, I don't know if you've been to a rec league game, no, or a fucking uh, basketball AAU or a track meet. Mm -mm. It'd be a bunch of women out I there. I would have to say it's party promoters though. You think? Hell yeah. Ain't no fucking money in party promoting. Well, they all be scammers, so. <laughs> Don't let them niggas trick y'all. Ain't no real. I done threw a bunch of parties. Ain't a lot of money. It's a whole bunch of time and not a lot of money in that shit. I oh, feel like they probably get, get the, the most. most yeah, I don't know why, but they do. Bitches want to get in the club for free. That too. Free drinks, free hookah. Hookah's fucking expensive Tom, out now. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just I went crazy. to a place. I ain't even going to say the name of it. I ain't going to do that to y'all. <laughs> but it's like the electric top. It was $80. I swear to God. But, I mean, everywhere in D.C., I've never paid under $60 for hookah in D.C. Now, I, I go have. back home, they charge them 50 now, but I've never paid under $60 Really? No, there's a couple places that, like, Gazoozas. I ain't never been there. Oh, yeah, Gazoozas, their hookah's like $30, $35. It, I just you just probably be place. going to, like, the the real popular lounges or I don't something. Know, but fuck it, Harlots. I don't know if it's popular that is. or not. That shit was $80. It is popular. I think I went to Harlot. I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't have a good experience. It was a pretty trash night. I mean, that's why I don't want to talk down on them, but they charged me $80 <laughs> for the liquor. The service was bad as fuck. They didn't have no liquor we wanted. We was like, Casamigo, no. We was like, no, uh, Reposado. We was like, Reposado, no. Deleon, no. Uh, Don Julio Nejo, no. Well, what fucking tequila do y'all got? Some, uh, all right, well, y'all got Henny. No. No, they did have Henny. Y'all okay. got, uh, y'all had, uh, we had, uh, we asked for Duce first. No, we got Henny. I'm like, all right, man, fuck, man. I ain't never been in a black spot that didn't have none of that shit. Like, just go to the fucking liquor I'm store. I'm trying to think. Shit. Is Harlot the place that got the basement? Yes. Actually, no, 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 no. I, I, I haven't had a bad experience with Harlot. I'm thinking some place, some other place. <laughs> it may, I mean, I only been once, and it was fucking trash, but I, I still, I'll come back. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll come back. Cause it, Maybe it was just nice a bad night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus, the hookah was $80. And I mean, I paid. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck, but... No, that's kind of crazy, though. It was $80. So, uh, all right. So, when do you kind of see your... I, well, all right. We talked about how, where you meet guys at. You were like, IG. So, you respond to DMs? Yeah, sometimes. What's your DMs looking like right now? How many dick pics a week? If I go to the message requests... Um, oh, that's the one where they ain't following you. When I'm not following them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't ever yeah. go to that shit. Yeah, the message request is where it really be getting real crazy at. So I don't really open those no more. <laughs> For real? No. Sometimes I'll just scroll to just make sure I'm not missing out, like, no gigs or nothing like okay. that. But for the most part, I don't open. How many DMs you get a week, probably? A week? I don't know. Like, God damn, she popping. <laughs> she popping. Let's, I don't, I don't DM know. DM Let's go to one of them request DMs right now. Let's okay. read them. And if it's some goofy shit, we're going to call your bitch ass out, nigga. Uh, and listen, I don't care. I tell y'all my Instagram, you don't want no smoke with me. I don't care. We DM diving. This is the first time I ever did this on my on my podcast, DM, DM Dive. Diving. Okay, it's Go a, to the request. What they saying in the request? It's a lot of people who be like... Are they offering cash out? Talking to themselves? No, they don't ever offer... Oh, me. so, so uh, hold on. I'm looking at that shit. one. You never responded and he just kept sending shit? They be... This this man has been talking to himself in my in my DMs for over three years. No, hell no. no hold on. Give me his name. I got to... I got to... No, no, no I, this nigga corny, man. <laughs> no, because I got to tell the rest of the women stay away from him. He's a serial killer. No, he's Nah, no, listen, uh, Silver, <laughs> a nigga that will, listen, I mean, I'm being honest. I ain't really a big DM guy. People, if I know him, I DM or if I want to do a podcast, which I DM. But if I'm complimenting you or I'm saying shit and you're not saying nothing back, I'm never DMing you again. I feel like a lot of men don't have shame. I was literally talking He's to my friend yesterday. He's a serial killer. <laughs> Y'all need to bring shame back. Like, men don't be having shame. Yo, hey, females, if a nigga's in your DM for three years and you have not responded, start screenshotting this fucking weirdo and put it out there. 
That's some weirdo shit. I'm just, so I'm not she, that lucky kind of, she won't give me your I'm name, I'm not bro. that kind of person. Like, I just won't. More, I just me, won't respond. What's the to smoothest it? shit a nigga ever? Let me see. What's the smoothest shit a nigga saying I to your DM really to make getting, you respond? No I smooth shit. No. So what do they be saying? They just be saying dumb shit. Like, like what? What's your, what your bath water tastes like? Hell no. <laughs> Why are y'all doing that in DMs? <laughs> Why are y'all asking people what their? It tastes like shit and dirt, bitch. <laughs> I was out all day working out, <laughs> working. <laughs> Fuck, I might be on my, she might be on her period that week. Like, God damn, she ate Chipotle. And For the fucking, most part, I don't even get, like, words. It's damn, she got a lot all of, like, that's all the requests? Um, Let me see your DMs. Let me see the ones you answering, though. See, that's what I want to see. What she saying back to these oh. niggas? Oh, no, hold on, Silver. What you saying no, no, back to these listen, niggas? Listen, when it's, if it's not in the message request, nah, you gonna I don't, respond. I don't get, I don't really get DMs that, that often because it's like, um, what's it called? Man, I feel like a lot of my men, followers going DM you. A lot She's of single, men my y'all. age don't approach me. The men that approach me are always older men. For real? Do you like older yeah. men? I don't dislike. What's the oldest that I've been with? Yeah. I think thirty. Okay, that's not really old. You fucking twenty three. I mean, but like I've, I've probably that like I've been with and like had sex with it yeah. was thirty. But like I've like went on dates with older men than thirty though. What's that? What's that? Yeah, how old was that? Like probably in their forties. So all right, so because it's a lot of shit be going. What's a good date for you? Um, Did you look at that two hundred dollar date shit? Have you been looking at two? It's a whole. It was going around like a week ago, like two hundred dollar dates. If that's the norm, two hundred dollar date. No, I'm not a materialistic person. Okay. Because like. Some some men will throw money at you, and they don't re- really like. They don't they don't see you. I, I can't explain it, but like some men will throw money at you. They don't mean they like you. They just trying to like impress you. Yeah, impress you. It's just like you're not really trying to get to know me. You want me to like lust over you or like. Why you ain't fuck the old head that took you out? The who? The old head. You didn't uh, say the forty year old nigga that took you out. Why you ain't fucking? Um, I don't. I don't know. Like, I just feel like you shouldn't have sex with everybody you go out with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. And everybody's... One night stand? I haven't had one of those in years. Probably since college. But you have. I have. I've had it once before. And I don't even think it counts as a one night stand because after that, we continued messing with No, no, no. It's, it, was that the first time you have met them? Yes. That's a one night stand. <laughs> yeah, she ate. Hey, and y'all know what I called them. Like, that was, yo, we speaking about a lot. It was on my last episode. I called people that had one. I didn't, you're not a forever whore, but that's whore actions. And you know, I got a lot of DMs. Nigga, you act like you ain't never, yeah, I had a one night stand. Bitch, I was a hoe that night. <laughs> I'm not saying I wasn't. I was on some hoe shit. I met a, listen, I was in Atlantic City one time. I'm not like, but the thing is, oh, I, it was somebody I had my eye on for a little minute. Listen. We went to school together. We was on campus, and oh, we ended what, up at a party no, together. No, no, no. Hell no, then. No, 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 I didn't no. know him, though. Silver. I just no, used no, to no, see no, him no, around. No, no. That's not a one-night stand. Because if you're in college and you know him, he know you. I didn't, I didn't know him. Nah, I'm saying, like, you went to spring break in Florida. Oh, no, And no, you no, seen no, a no. nigga in the club. Y'all was chilling. But that's why I'm, t- I'm going to tell you this. Story. I went to Atlantic City. This was a minute ago. It was like a coaches retreat I was in my 20s so I it was Puerto Rican girl bad I mean super bad I'm in there and we vibing for a minute it got so bad that I wanted this one night stand she started smoking cigarettes and literally that's to turn off of me but <laughs> my whole time in my head I'm thinking fuck it I act like I started smoking cigarettes with I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life Life. I started smoking a cigarette, a cigarette with, cigarette with her. her. Yeah, I wanted her to feel oh, like we had no. we had something in common. Listen, that's how you get the one night stands when they think you vibing and shit. But listen, I was about to, the fucking taste of the butt on my lips. We ended up going back to the room. I had a one night stand. It was great too. I'm, I might got a Puerto Rican kid out here, but hey, she never said nothing. Cigarettes. Crazy. I know, no, nah, that was anything. <laughs> listen, I listen. Some, some niggas that need worse shit for the pussy. That's so bad. Like men are so easy. But what's Y'all the, are way so, so you never did no savage shit for sex. No, 
Well, I mean, females is come on. Yeah, it's easy for y'all. <laughs> I mean, men because actually, men are easy. We don't gotta do too much to get in y'all pants. Well, I, I had a conversation with somebody that the other day that I've actually turned people down, and you know, the first thing they told me when I turned them down after a while, they just called me gay. And I used to tell them, I, I I don't just fuck anything because I'm particular on just the vibe and. How you talk, if like you just a hood, but if it's too easy, I really don't want it. And that one night stand is because I really wanted her. I was it say, wasn't says like the she, person who smoked the cigarette for Yeah, but it <laughs> wasn't like she came up on me and seen me like, yo, nigga, I like you, but it, I really wanted her. But I've turned down plenty of women, and after you turn them down, she caught, she tried to call me gay, and I'm like, bitch, I'm not gay because I don't want to fuck you. I'm just not a fucking savage. So yeah. I don't just fuck anything. But women, y'all don't really have to work for dick. I mean, it's like, you got probably got 10 niggas in your phone that probably call you sis and friends that if you say, hey, look, bro, come over and fuck me, he gonna fuck you. <laughs> you ever fuck the nigga you call bro? Mm-mm. You ever fuck but, the girl you call But my sis? male friends, they, they let me know all the time that like, yeah, we're your bros, but at the same time, it's like, I promise you, if you was to ever, like, be like, you try and do something, we're going to say, yeah. I ain't going to let you call me bro then. If, uh, yeah, I ain't going to let you call but me that, bro But I then. think that's just human nature, you know no, what I'm saying? No, no, no. Don't call me bro. <laughs> you know, I want to They fuck. hate it when I call them bro. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, nah. Well, like, y'all bro. my bros, you know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> no, I want to fuck at some point. That's why. All right, listen, don't friend, and to me, that's the friend zone. Have you ever been friend zoned? Mm. Th- have you ever friend zoned somebody? How do you friend, yeah. how do you how do you tell them? How do you break them down in the friend? I'll just be like, um, I don't I don't see you like that. God damn. What do he say? I mean, what what do you say after that? You just damn, gotta say, well, okay. I mean, I, I'm gonna be like, what, what you want me to start doing or nothing. Like I just don't see you like that. We don't have that kind of connection. And there's nothing no, wrong I with ain't that. Going for that. I feel shit. like some men are in your life to be friends. You don't have to be romantically involved with every man or woman in your life. Some people are just supposed to be in your life to be friends. And I wish a lot of men would understand that you would make a better friend in my life than whatever you're trying to do with me. So your future boyfriend can have female friends. Yes, he can. If he if they were friends before we were no, together. Oh, no, I see that what I'm saying. You saying just some people are meant for friends. So that ain't me. Before you, that means I met somebody that should have been. If my I trust, I mean to be honest, if I trust my man, I do not care if he has trust is thin. Women, it's a real friends. fucking thin line between love and hate. I'm not gonna be in a relationship with somebody I don't trust. That's gonna be a headache for me. What does trust have to do with love, though? Respect. So you, so but my only and I and I get into arguments about this all the time. At some point in every relationship. Somebody's gonna break the trust, but that doesn't mean the relationship is over. No. And I ain't just saying cheat and trust. It could be anything. Lie. It could be anything. Motherfuckers spin the story, <laughs> leave out because leaving out some details to me is lying to me. And that's why whenever you are building a relationship, you have to make sure that communication is something that like y'all are very big on together, like detailed communication. We need to be able to be comfortably communicate with you like I want to be with somebody that I can be I won't scare to be honest with you you know what I'm saying like yeah, I should nah, be nah, comfortable nah. enough where like I don't feel like I need to lie to you I feel you that's I why I don't, lie about I don't want to be shit, with though. somebody who's like I don't want to lie about some shit weak minded but I don't think that's weak minded because I want I just want to lie about some shit I, but why because I just think sometimes no matter people always say yo give me the truth I just think sometimes some truth is hard to handle and with some truth you have to pay for that later down the line all the time. I would rather you just be honest with me so I don't look no, stupid. No, don't tell me you had a train ran on you. I, I'd rather you lie I to me mean, about no, that no, shit. No, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I love you, don't come out to me and say, well, I got to tell you this before we get married. I have five niggas fuck me. Oh, no, no, no. That's Bitch, crazy. You don't, uh, That's some stuff you can keep to yourself. That's something you can keep to yourself. My grandma used to tell me that all the time. So you give people something, you keep you some. You keep some, yeah. Yeah, so it is what that's it not, is. That's not called lying. You're just not telling the whole truth. Can a nigga ask you how many bodies you got? Um, I don't. I'm grown. I don't be counting. You know what I'm saying? Silver, that's kind of bad that you just said that. It's not. You don't be counting. No, like I don't sit there and be like. That sounds like a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? No, but that's when you say you don't count. That sounds. I can say it's been more than five. I've been having sex since I was 17 years old. It'd be kind of crazy if 
I, I tell, had. I tell men if they give you a number times three. <laughs> <laughs> that, listen, every time a girl give you a body count times that shit times three, and that's the real number. Fifteen, that ain't bad. You've been fucking since seventeen. Were you twenty three? Uh, six years, that ain't bad. Fifteen's crazy. I mean, fifteen's six not. Years, fifteen's that's, actually not crazy. That's I know like two point five a year. I've had. I've known men who probably like at in their seventies right now. Yeah, we, that's when we said you don't be counting. I forgot, so I. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like after a certain number, you just stop counting. It's just like, what am I counting for? I asked my girl though. She gave me a number, and I know she probably was lying, but who gives so a fuck? Then why ask? Cause I just want her to lie to me. That's Something, weird. Listen, Gibeon got a song called I feel "Lie like, to Me." I feel like I it's feel so. Em. We're in a day and age where I will see more people on Twitter ask, talk about body counts than, do you get tested? Because you can have two body counts and have HIV. So a body count has yeah, never been magic, something that... Magic's still alive, so HIV, fuck it. We, we, going, we can survive with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse hey, listen, me? Listen, magic's still alive. Um, If I have a choice to not have AIDS, I'm going to choose not to have AIDS. But HIV is different from AIDS. Motherfucker HIV me... will turn into AIDS. Not, nah, magic showed us how to just live with that shit. You can yeah. live with it, but you still have it at the end of the no, day. No, no, I feel you. I, listen, I'm telling you, bitch, give me HIV. We both... We... Uh, somebody's... Su- is homicide, suicide <laughs> going on. So I just feel like when it comes to sex, that's what I'm more concerned about than, like, I don't care if you've had hella body. As long For as you're real. clean... And you respect women. And you got to be good at it, though. And you know yeah, what I'm saying? As long as you're not, like, out here just ha- having sex just to have it. Or, like, you're not, like, dogging women. And, you know, you're not being a creep or a rapist yeah. or some shit like that. For sure. I don't really care about your body. I'm, we grown as hell. Like, come on no, now. I feel you. I feel you. No, I definitely feel you. <laughs> so. Could a, could, a, could a nigga on a date with you get at another girl while they on a date? Why would you do that? I want to have options. While we on that date together? Yeah, it's like our second date. We don't, I mean, listen, I'm telling you, I sense player vibes from you. I'm not a player, though. I sense that you're not going to get too many niggas. You're not going to let them in. You're going to get what you kind of, what you there for, and you're going to kind of maneuver and shake and move on them. That's I'm, just the vibes I got. I I'm not a player. True. Like, no? I just know how to, I know what it is. How many guys you juggling right now? Hold on, don't say nothing if they gonna watch this. Are they gonna watch it? I don't know. If you post it on it, do any of them follow you? Yeah. Oh shit, don't say it. <laughs> I don't wanna fuck this shit up. Nah, don't say it. Do not he the you the only one, bro. You the only one she talking to right now. <laughs> you the only one she talking to, bro. I ain't talking to nobody. They talking to me. Oh shit. But well, then again, you might as well say Cause they, hey, they hear that. No, 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 no. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I'm, joking. Hey, I'm hey. joking. Bro, you the only one. You oh the only one, God. bro. No, you the only one, bro. You the only one. <laughs> I'm I'm dating right now. Let okay, me say that. I'm dating one right now. Or two or three. Um, like in terms of seriously not I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna say seriously dating. In terms of like Spending time dating mm-hmm. one only one one person only one person. But kind of like conversating with like a couple guys. But like I'm text I'm still like texting like maybe two. If they ask to go out on a date, one and go? a half. Um, maybe one of them. Okay. But the rest, I'm just res- I just be responding to messages to okay. just to because yeah. I be bored. For sure. I mean, but conversation is good because you got to see where it go, would it, would it want to go. You was out last night. All right, so anybody buy you any drink? Well, you don't drink, though, so a nigga drink. can't even buy you a fucking drink. No. Damn, a nigga got to buy you a, a Ave. <laughs> I mean, he did spark me up. For, what's, what's that? Like, light your shit in the Like, he, he rolled up and we, and we smoked. Damn, did you watch him roll? You can't trust everybody out here. Really yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I no? did. Okay. I did. Mm-hmm. So you didn't know him or he was just in I didn't know him. So, so crazy because I felt like the way he approached me, number one, I, me and my girl, we step up in the party, right? Mm-hmm. It's a house party. We come in. As soon as I come in, I just see some dude. He comes to me. He goes, oh, my God, you're a celebrity. You're Foxy Silver. And I'm like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, bro. Relax. Yeah. How did he look, though? Was, I mean, was he all right? Did he look all right? He was... He looked all right, just not my type. That was a fucking corny line, though. But anyway, go ahead. Like, it was just so corny. Was I was corny. like, Because mm, okay. are you a celebrity, Ryan? No, I'm not so a celebrity. So he's really being corny. 
he was just like, oh, my God. You're, you got I, a bunch of followers. I though, was just so. like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's me. Hi. Mm-hmm. And then, like, he's talking to me. He's talking to me. He's like, um, can I get you a drink? I'm like, no, I don't drink. He was like, do you smoke? I was like, yes. He's like, okay. Um, I'm about to roll up. So we roll up. We go outside. And we're talking. Um, he's asking me, like, questions about myself. And I guess he's starting to feel me and shit like that. And he's like, you know what? You give me, like, your real... You're like you don't have emotions and shit like that. I'm like, no, like I don't know. I get why. that too, though. I don't I, th- I think I think you kind of cold blooded, but that, that's a whole nother. <laughs> you look like you will fuck the shit out of a nigga and then don't call him for two weeks. So like, but. I wasn't really like he's wasn't really my type. So I I kind of I kind of lied a little bit. To him. I hope he ain't look. Do he follow? Yeah, he gotta he, follow you because yeah. he know he knew who you was. He knew your he Instagram. says that he don't have Instagram no more. He lying. He's going to go on somebody else's shit. He said he don't have Instagram no more. That he used to have it, but he don't have no more. Wow. But I just basically kind of, I kind of just told him that, like, I'm kind of, like, seeing somebody right now. And oh, if, I, if I gave you my number, it would kind of be a waste of your time. And you know what he told me? He was like. I'll just wait. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, he was telling me that. He was just like, he was just like, you know what? It's, it's not an issue. I'll take you out. I'll spend money on you. Like, all this and that. I'm just like, it's not about that. Like, I Can don't. Can nigga stop that shit? I was just like, I like, don't. I don't understand why a nigga want to spend money on a girl that's not interested I'm in already you. telling you, like, I'm interested in somebody else right now. I don't want to waste your time. And your you solution is money? throwing money at me. Well, I, but I can say silver, though. We are in the era that but 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 that listen, would have right? had some girl say. Oh, well, but maybe. listen, y'all did he do, look like y'all, he had money? Y'all though? do stuff like that, and then y'all will get on social media and be like, "Oh, women are materialistic. Y'all just chase money." But y'all be throwing it at us. I know I ain't getting a bit shit. Pimping but, ain't dead. But you niggas know, just most scared. men will throw money to try to get your attention. But then when you take it, it becomes a matter of, oh, y'all are materialistic, y'all are gold diggers. Stop throwing the shit at us then. I feel you. I, no, I, <laughs> I get up here all the time and talk about those corn balls. I was on a podcast with a girl. It was three girls, a pretty exclusive podcast. They stood me up. They supposed to come on my shit. I, I came on theirs. They didn't. So when I first met my girlfriend, she flew to me. And they was mad talking about, well, why? You ain't? First of all, she got it. She getting to the money. Mm-hmm. She don't need me to fly her out. She going to fly out. Yep. And I need to see what you going to do for me. Because I tell niggas all the time, I'm not doing nothing for no chick that, that can't do it for herself. Now, I will. I flew to my girl a bunch of times when she was where she was at. She's here now. But I'm not doing nothing for nobody. I'm not taking no girl, no restaurant that you can't take me to. Bitch, if we go to Eddie V's, I should be able to say you got it this week. Or whatever restaurant we go to. And I mean, money is relative if you ask me. So I don't see how that's a superpower for men because women who don't like you are just going to drain you dry. And then once they finish with you, they're going to move on to the next nigga with money and move on. So I don't use that as my superpower. And my girl, no, I ain't no lazy nigga. So, I mean, at the end of the day, she know I'm going to go out here and get what she need. And if she need it, I got it. But that I want to spend. You just told him you weren't interested. I got somebody. And he kept. For the, the whole entire night, he kept coming back trying to still get my number. And he's just like, we can be friends. Fellas, the long game. Listen to me. The long game. You got to wait it out. If if you first you don't succeed, <laughs> does yourself off. And wait. Don't try again right then and there. <laughs> just wait. Most people you're going to run into again. If you get their Instagram, you can find a way where they can find out about your personality. You may have something that she's into, that you into. Don't be no fucking savage, bro. You in the, First of all, I'm going to just tell you all top, like, bro, I'm in this house party trying to enjoy myself. Don't fucking worry me to death. Like, you really just pressing me off on my number after I done already told you. But see, you. if you was rude with him, he would have been like, you a bitch. Yeah. You think he, but you should have been I like, was, bro, get out I my fucking face. I was being nice. Like, I don't know, because I'm, I'm, sometimes you can't, you just never have know. Have you what, ever been, like, rude to a nigga men. like nigga? Um... I be scared because at the end of the day, like I'm, I'm number one. I'm a woman. I'm small. Let's go get you, you just, a gun. You just never know. Like n- a lot of niggas out here are crazy. You can carry a gun legally. <laughs> I don't trust myself to own a gun. Why? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna do some. some When's your birthday? Shit and actually set it off. September. September what? Twenty third. What is that? Uh? Libra. Oh yeah. Libra punched me in my motherfucking mouth one time, and Damn. I won't need cheating. Listen, oh it's, my God. it's a long story. I was with her, but we was leaving a party. The dude that I came to the party with, the two girls was with him. We went with everybody. We drove. I drove. It was like three cars. He ended up leaving. 
the girl had to come back to the crib to get her car. So naturally, who did she have to ride with? Me, because I drove. So when I got back to the crib, my girl was sitting at my homeboy house. And I got out, we got out the car, she got out the car. She just came out. Her she ain't even parked the fucking car. Car ended up rolling down the street. She punched me, chipped my tooth. The girl knew her name because I was talking about my girl all night. She was like, I already know who you are. So and so. I'm not gonna say that bitch name up here. <laughs> Should have told my sister to fuck you up, but I didn't. But that, that's on and that's my only thing. I stay. I would never get my sister involved with nothing that if I'm gonna stay with her. Like I would mm-hmm. t- I tell my sisters all the time, don't come to me about no nigga unless you about to leave him. Because I don't want to fuck this nigga up and you still with him. He sent me to jail and you falling in love and I'm locked up or I got to fight this nigga every time I see him and you still love him. So now yep. if it's over, call me and I'm going to deal with it. Uh, random question. If you just seen girl getting beat up by a dude, you helping her? Yes. Well, yeah. I feel like, an, I, I, feel like I naturally will. But, um, you know, I know... Sometimes you never know a situation, and if you get what involved. What if she gave him AIDS? Mm, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you never know a situation. <laughs> but at the I'm, end of the day, at the end of the day, he should still never put his hands on her. Nah, though. girl, give me AIDS. She better be. She, she might want to pray that I hit her, cause the gun coming out. Oh you give God. me AIDS. I'm just being honest. I feel like you matter. wouldn't. You wouldn't put your hands on a woman, no matter how how mad you she are. She gave me AIDS. You wouldn't do it. You probably you probably think you would, but you wouldn't. I've never. And listen, I've never punched a girl. I've had girls punch me, like I'm a dude, and then I have to grab them because I'm not gonna let you knock me the fuck out. And some mm-hmm. girls really have like crackhead strength, and I'm like, damn, that shit hurt, kind of hurt. So I've grabbed them. Never even had to slam a girl because the one girl that I did grab, I kind of like put my forearm on her neck so she knew I was serious. I would be furious though if somebody that I trusted and love gave me something though. So I don't know, but yeah. All right, so if you see a girl beating on a guy, what should do? Is it the same reaction? It should be the same reaction. I just feel like I always tell everybody this if you plan on putting your hands on somebody, you better be prepared for them to put your put their hands on you back. So, like, as a woman, don't put your hands on nobody's son. For sure. Because I'm calling the cops on it's, you. It's that or, like, we're just kind of, like, instilled that if somebody put their hands on me, I'm fighting back. You no know what I'm saying? No doubt so, about. don't put your, listen, ladies, do not be on these men, okay? Because they will beat your ass back. And I can't <laughs> say nothing because... You put your hands on them first, you know what I'm saying? Don't beat on nobody if you and I try and get beat back. Niggas be pussy too, so you know Chris Brown pussy. I don't care when I don't care how many bees you throw up, you pussy, bro. <laughs> and they, and some people forget. And your music is your music. It's it's good. You're super talented, Dan. You still pussy. You still pussy. I don't care. And people want to say, oh, we she forgave him, he forgave. He pussy. And every nigga that black the girl eye, you pussy. Yeah. I feel like, um, of course, as a woman, you shouldn't put your hands on a man. But, like, at the end of the day, if a girl's beating on you, you still have the upper hand no matter what. If if you can, try to just, like, put her in a way where she can't hit you no more. But, like, try not to hit I know she, I know she hit you, but try not to hit her back. Try anything but that. But at the same time, your brain, like I said, is wired that if somebody hits you, you hit them back. Facts. So. So. I ain't going to hold you much because we probably about at an hour and some change. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about an hour and some change. I don't even feel uh, like it. I know. That's how we be talking. <laughs> Future for you because, I mean, I'm going I'm to pull you back. I already, I already told Silver we're going to do some skits. I'm going to start shooting. I've been writing scripts for five years now Ooh. and skits and just be – part. and part of it is, is fear that – Half of the stuff I do, I don't think is good enough. So I be like, I'm telling you, as a creative, that shit. Yeah, just I don't be wanting to put it out. Yeah, but everybody tell me, bro, like, fuck it, just stop it, like, just put it out. Like, I've done a bunch of these that never came out because I'm like, I. But now what I do is I don't rewatch shit. I just make sure the audio's good, the picture's good, and then I edit a little bit and then put it out. Because if I listen through it all the way through, I'm never gonna put nothing mm-hmm. out. Because I'd be like, oh no, I don't like the way I sound. We ain't say that. So. uh the future, what are we looking towards? In terms of, I'm down to come and, and talk again. I don't okay. really be doing much for real. 
Okay. Other than work and hanging out with I'm going to let her bring friends. some of her friends with me. That's what I said. I'm going to make it a, a, a group shit because I kind of want to just have a whole bunch of girls in here and I just disagree with them and they just <laughs> fucking cuss me out on some shit like that. Uh, <laughs> modeling this year, you got any gigs coming up? You got to do um, like a fucking Christmas shoot. Like you got to do like some sexy reindeer shit. <laughs> Last year I did the Grinch. It was actually pretty cool. I did like that. That was um, nice. But Whoever did that makeup was fucking cold. Yeah, that, that, that was, was uh, one of my cool friends, Brianna. She's a model mm. too. Okay. Um, But... I, I was supposed to plan on doing a Christmas sh- a shoot, but I have a lot going on right now, so okay. I'm probably not going not. to. Okay. Um, I'm working on a project, though. What's the project? Okay, it's give it a, to us. It's, it's a, my poetry side. I'm doing a spoken word visuals, uh, so that's in the works right now. Give us something right now. Do you mind? Give us something. Something short. Just give us like eight bars. Okay, I can... I have, I don't be freestyling. I'm not a rapper. Yeah, but I, <laughs> you probably got like... I know, I have stuff in my phone, okay. though. So I can give y'all a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Something quick. Okay. All right, I'm going to do this one, okay? Come on. The residue from the very prime of your sweet talking, enough to shake a woman down to her soaked core. Serve as a lowly reminder, a quick flick of your tongue provides a quick solution. Your sharp eyes jab a beautiful pain. Sincere long enough to slither her out her being and slither deeper into soon enough. Yes, her legs may shake, they may tremble. Shit, how could they not? Being faced with an entity such. Worthy of a king up top, physique of a warrior down bottom. Skin so smooth, drenched in what the scent would seem to be ambitious in power. God damn, she must knew me before she wrote that. (laughs) That poem was about me, yo. (laughs) I actually wrote that poem about somebody. I just don't remember who. Tongue so. of the flicker. I don't know was eating that pussy good. <laughs> I, I heard it. The legs shaking. I heard it. That was good, though. Yeah. I liked it. I Thank it you. Like, Listen, I'm telling you, that sounded like some, some shit. That is night after with me. But, yeah, that is what it is. Uh, y'all make sure y'all follow Silver. Uh, give him the Instagram. Foxy Silver, that's F O X I E Silver, like the color. Foxy Silver. On Instagram, you don't got no Twitter or nothing? Or? It's the same thing on Twitter, too. Same thing on Twitter, yeah. Snapchat. On all, all platforms. Oh, everything? That's cool. Yeah. That you Foxy got that Silver. On everything. You got an OnlyFans? No. They getting that money out here. <laughs> I wish I could do it. If I could do it, I would, but I, uh, not nah, yet. If I had I OnlyFans, it would spoil my market. You think? Yeah. No, I don't think so. A lot of men will not take you serious. Nah, I don't think so. It's a lot of women out here that's on OnlyFans now. The content you put out on OnlyFans determines well, yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, the content you put because out. Because. But the ones that are making a lot of money. No, nah, I know a lot of people who don't show shit. They really just got a good hustle game and some shit going on. Because everybody don't have fucking on OnlyFans. Yeah. It's just that I can't give the world all of this. You have to pay for this. You could do your poetry on OnlyFans and make money off of it, especially I if doubt you, it. I, listen, Silver, I'm all. I meant. <laughs> I, listen, I, we'll talk after this shit. No, okay. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it, because if people like looking at you, they'll love to hear from you too. Mm-hmm. Half of these rappers, bitches can't rap, <laughs> but they look good, so that pulls you in. And then when you are good at what pulls them in. That's why Nikki's the greatest. That's why Cardi's good because she's actually good at what she do. Mm-hmm. So the initial thing, people gonna like seeing you. People will pay for it if they like it. Mm-hmm. But that's all another story. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot for Silver. I appreciate her coming. I hit her. She Thank said you for she wanna me. do it. I'm, I listen. This ain't the first time. I'm gonna bring her back with her friends. I'm gonna, gonna, be her, I'm gonna see her when she smoke. I'm gonna let her friends drink, and we gonna really talk some shit. Because, you know, I, I wanted to warm her up. She's probably going to be the first return. I've never had a return guest, but I'm going to bring oh. you back. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring you back because I, I got some more shit that I want to talk about with you. But I'm a, I'm a, next time I'm going to get some weed for you. Some weed for. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that uh, subscribe button. Y'all, oh, no, before, sh- sh- get a little closer. Do, do one of those for them. If, <laughs> if y'all can guess, I'm going to buy you some Henny. If you can guess the exact size. And what's, it's, it's like the number and then the letter. It's a, I have a bus size and uh-huh. then a letter. If y'all can, if y'all can say the exact bus size, the first person to say the exact bus size and number, 
Get a joint. Letter. You gotta stand up. All the girls stand up. They gotta show me everything. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. Turn. Let me see. Let me see. Turn. Oh, she got a little something back there. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell. She got a little something back there. So, <laughs> peace out, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all heal. All right. God loves you. I love you. Peace out.